Everywhere I went, I kept hearing about this great new thing called the World Wide Web. It's going to change the way we get information, they said. Change the way we relate to each other. It's going to change everything. Well, I don't know if you're, you're planning on talking to this guy, Justin Hall. He is a cyber star. I realize I don't even talk to my friends that much about what's going on in my life. The web is my outlet. I went through nine years of psychotherapy. I have a lot of experience talking about myself, largely with myself. Being intimate with Justin, it is a problem, and he exposes every aspect of the relationship. Put in your sex life. There's graphic um, explanations. Is that what happened in your case? A bit. <laughs> It's kind of what the web is there for, is that kind of experimentation and play. But how would you feel if you were going out with someone like Justin, and you actually had I'm, to... I'm, I'd censor him. <laughs> so it sounds like your home isn't a physical one. I really do live most on the net, but whatever I was doing, I think I would still crave, you know, some idealized, intimate relationship. I said, well, what, what brings you here, Justin? Justin looked at me with a big smile on his face and said, the opportunity to work with you. When you pay rent, you don't get a family, but here I get a family, you know? Family comes with the rent. I love that. I'm getting in on the ground floor as one of the most intense moments, the week before launch, when you're living on pizza and jolt cola and staying up late, hacking all the time. Justin has like a mission to go teach all these people, okay? Imagine if all your relatives had web pages and all their relatives had web pages and like some of your dead relatives had web pages telling stories about back before you were born. I think that he's gotten away with a lot of stuff. I haven't had to punch him in the nose about it, but um, he definitely pushes the line. You're a very high maintenance relationship. <laughs> Me? 